guys welcome back to home harbor today video is going to be about uh, the blocks ropes uh, details that you can add and upgrade your kit uh, doesn't matter what kit do you have you can always do the upgrade you can always do things better with the ropes for example uh, different quality and well we're going to look closer to all of the stuff that I have all of these details uh, come from dry dock models and parts from Canada uh, and well I'm going to leave you a link in the description you can check all of the website all of the details that they have and well guys right now we're going to look uh, take a closer look on all the stuff and well some of them we're going to assemble with you I'm going to do the separate videos how we're going to assemble them for example how we're going to assemble the single capstan we have different uh, scales uh, everything step by step so guys let's go so guys first thing that I wanted to show you it's the ropes uh, that we have uh, the one mil cotton light beige color right I never saw uh, rope well I never had the rope like this guys you can see the quality it looks really stunning we have uh, this color we have the how does it call 10 well okay color like this uh, the quality is well for me honestly guys this is impeccable because if you can see this is something really cool now imagine uh, when I'm going to start working with them I will use all these ropes for example for the cannon uh, set uh, I'm going to do the full rigging right rigging historically accurate rigging of the cannons I'm going to show you a set of the cannons uh, I never saw something so detailed uh, like this we have a uh, very a lot of different uh, diameter ropes this one is also one mil check guys very very beautiful uh, this is the part of the ropes you have very a lot of different colors this one is black one uh, 0 0.5 mil outstanding honestly uh, now uh, let's move forward the ropes are really amazing everything is packed uh, very nice well just awesome I'm going to leave this rope right here so after uh, when we go to the part of the blocks I will push one rope through the block so you will check it how does it look now guys here we have dead eyes uh, also dead eyes uh, are made well they look well this is uh, the ebony dead eyes the beauty of all of this that we usually see in the kit that basically have the same diameter of the uh, dead eyes blocks and stuff like this this one is uh, 7 mil this one is 5 mil we have the smaller ones uh, 3.5 mil guys really I never saw it <laughs> honestly I never saw the uh, dead eyes this small uh, beautiful uh, beautiful stuff now about the blocks guys 7 mil triple block you can see how beautifully made this is the pear wood stunning I just want to push honestly just for myself I want to push rope through the block ok 
guys just look at this beauty well I never worked with this uh, quality of blocks for me this is really something really cool now we will continue I will show you the single and double blocks and different in diameter so guys right here I have seven mil single block I wanted to show it to you for you to uh, be able to compare the sizes and the quality of the products this is the seven mil right this one is three mil guys and the quality in this miniature the quality is the same look at this three mil now imagine uh, how historically accurate with this type of blocks and ropes you can do your model I do understand not everyone want to spend money on some upgrade but still there are people that are value the accuracy and well they need stuff like this and well I can say this is not just a high quality for me honestly it's premium quality guys because uh, I never saw something like that and uh, so really impeccable uh, now guys we are going to move forward uh, I will leave you link in the description there is the double blocks single blocks uh, pair wood uh, well a lot of it there is choice for everyone guys just uh, go to the website and uh, look what uh, dry dock models and parts have uh, in the stock what you can purchase what you can buy to upgrade your ship so guys right here I have uh, the photo uh, 3d printed stuff with the photo attached parts I have 148 scale and I have 172 scale uh, the stove by itself is 3d printed But this is not it right you need to sand it a little bit right we're going to we're going to assemble it i'm going to do the separate videos uh, how to assemble all of these parts guys uh, the 3d printed parts need to be sent down uh, a little bit right and uh, obviously we're going to paint them uh, what is the beauty in all of this is uh, the photo attached part guys and by the image that we have in our picture we going to install all of these parts. Can you imagine the details? Well, really. It's just, well, something really special, guys. If you're going to put it on your ship. I have the idea to do the uh, probably scratch build section of the ship. So I can do the rigging. Also, I can use the stove. And also I can use, for example, the cannons, right? To do the right rigging. Uh, because I never done done it before, never. So for me, this is really really interesting, and I'm really excited to do this and we work with this. Um, yeah, the, the, basically this is it because I'm very excited. I never saw uh, one small detail that have include so much details, guys. Check it out. Really cool, really. So this is the store that we have. I have it in two scales. Uh, I will see. Uh, well, built with you, I'm going to use the bigger scale because it's going to be easier to work with and it's going to be easier to um, show it on the video because you you know my hands are shaking. Also, the camera focus not focusing, so I need to uh, build something bigger to can show it to you better, guys. Uh, next thing that we will check with you is the anchors. They are three D printed anchors. They comes in uh, 164 scale, 196 scale, and also 172 scale. And right here, uh, because the bigger one, easier to show, um, 148 scale, guys. It includes the wooden part, the anchor, the anchor itself. Uh, how I'm thinking to paint it basically prime it 
and then uh, paint it with the spray, right? Uh, black matte spray. Here we have the wooden part, the piece for put it right here. The ring. And basically here we have, uh, I also think this is the pear wood. Yep, the, the pear wood, wood uh, stock, we need to put it in our uh, anchor, send it down, stain it or just leave it like that. Uh, very, very, uh, well, very good job because 3D printing, right? Beautiful, the laser cut also, perfect. This is the anchor part, guys. Very awesome and well, useful. Useful, of course, it's useful. We all use the anchors, right? Uh, now, I have here the teeny tiny nails, guys. 0 0.3 mil. 200 uh, things in this bag. If I use that uh, okra pins, they are bigger. Uh, I thought they are small, but look at those, they're teeny tiny guys. You can really um, recreate something historically accurate, beautiful uh, with the things like this, because every time the small details making a huge difference, guys. Right here, guys, I have uh, two groups of double uh, capstan and single one. 148 scale, uh, 72, 64, 96, uh, the same right here. So what do we have uh, in, uh, this one is a double capstan, we're going to assemble it with you. We're going to assemble both of them. Uh, again, the details guys, it's not the 3D printed, it's all cut, it's all, again, I think per wood, right? Yes, per wood. Everything is laser cut. All of the details. The laser cut is impeccable, guys. Look at those details. Guys, stuff like this does make a huge difference. And also, the rings put on the top. Photo attached. I'm going to order the liquid to blacken them. Uh, this what we have guys and this what we're going to assemble with you. This is the double one, right? This is the double you can see here in the picture. Um, if you're going to assemble it before me, uh, guys, don't worry because you don't need the instructions. When you're going to cut them, cut the parts, uh, send it down. You first, what you're going to do, you're going to do the dry fit. When you're going to do the dry fit, you will see how the pieces are going. And obviously, you're going to uh, follow the instructions, guys, right? This is pretty uh, simple. Also, as I have right here, the single capstan, right? So, uh, the same parts. Only this one is single. We have the wood to put inside. Uh, photo attached ring on the top beautifully made well as again a quite high quality product guys uh, beautiful uh, those things well i'm going to use it i'm going to use i'm going to build something really cool and i'm going to use all of it because this is well opportunity for me to create something really special and well historically accurate what is important for me uh, the next thing guys is a windlass we have 148 scale and 172 scale. Uh, again, everything, the laser cut parts, uh, the 3D printed parts are impeccable. Check it. It's like a, well, it's mini kit, guys. It's basically just a mini kit. Beautifully made. 
pear wood well it looks beautiful guys and in this scale this one is a 172 scale guys it's not just some huge kit that you're going to assemble uh, it's really it's even even have 196 i think 196 scale right beautifully made uh, now we're going to move forward when i'm going to put everything in the bags because i like to have everything in order in home hardware because if not i'm going to have a huge mess here so guys next we will check with you uh gratings laser cut gratings also the pear wood we have also what is very important guys because usually in the kit they all, all are in the same scale the gratings here we have gratings uh, 172 scale also pear wood guys and this one is 148 it's really high quality guys the laser cut is impeccable and now uh, ta -da -da -da, now going to be the complete cannon uh, set there are four cannons and we will check what this uh, well I can say it, upgrade kit uh, upgrade set uh, just a set of the cannons uh, what it have inside and what we will recreate with you because we're going to do this on my channel i'm going to do even if i'm going to do just a wall not even the the deck even if i'm going to just do the wall i'm going to do this anyway because i want to do this i never done it before and this is well it's just historically accurate uh, rigging of the cannons guys i never done before and i really want to do it so uh, let's check what we are having here Guys, for those who doesn't understand what is the right rigging of the cannons, here I have the picture. It was always uh, on my wall and I always watched that picture and I thought mm, someday I'm going to, I, I have it right here. I have the more pictures and I have this picture right here in the corner. And I was always thinking mm, one day I'm going to build it. One day I'm going to do the perfect rigging of the cannons. I wanted to do something similar in Polaris. Uh, but well, I didn't have much uh, experience and uh, in that time I didn't even know how the right uh, rigging looked like. So guys, this is the right rigging. And for this right rigging, we have set of the cannons with the carriages, with the blocks and with the ropes for the rigging, guys. Uh, all the ropes are labeled, so you will not uh, do any of mistakes this beauty i will show you just in a few seconds we have here uh, three different types of the rope beautiful now we have double and single blocks the same high quality as i showed you previously we have here the carriages there are just uh, well impeccable laser cut if i may say like this impeccable not just high quality impeccable for you to understand the difference with the nailing guys and then we have the cannons brass cannons right here uh, they are four five mil guys it's not a small cannon uh, now imagine what's going to be the pleasure for me it's going to be really a pleasure for me to do uh, these cannons because guys uh, what i'm going to show you right now i never saw, saw nothing like this before i never saw so a lot of details just for the cannon guys look all of the rings all of the hooks everything guys everything that you need to make a beautiful historically accurate cannon 
well, this, this, well, set of the cannons. But for me, it's like the whole kit, guys. Uh, I, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do some. Um, probably I will take a piece of the deck from some uh, some ship. I have a lot of drawings. Uh, I have beautiful drawings of um, HMS Pegasus. Maybe I will use this. Uh, the drawings I had because of Mr. Kit Terry. Thank you very much, Mr. Kit. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, so, Mr. Kit Terry, uh, give it to me that uh, set of plans. I may use them to recreate the deck of the Pegasus and using all of those details that we have right here in the canon set, I will recreate historically accurate uh, canon rigging, guys, and the canon. It will be something very interesting. Uh, when I'm going to do this, I don't know, guys, because first of all, I did order the liquid to blacken the brass uh, for attached parts. Uh, I will need time to figure it out, right? Uh, also, I have another project, but all of this uh, we're going to assemble with you. This one will take me a while to... I need to recreate first the deck of the ship, but, for example, uh, those parts right here, uh, the capstan double uh, capstan the um, anchors I don't think that we really need to do this but we can do it why not um, and also we will uh, win less going to do it with you uh, I'm going to assemble it I'm going to show you how to do it it's going to be like separate videos uh, well I'm very happy with all of this uh, thank you very much Zoltan for providing home harbor with these materials uh, it's going to be a big pleasure to work with this link guys in the description uh, you can check there is a lot of uh, kits there is a lot of even the uh, cross sections uh, there is a lot of stuff guys that you can choose you can spend a lot of time uh, going through stuff of the dry dock model ships and parts uh, you will not regret it guys with these ropes well this is just uh, amazing and this is well dream comes true guys so uh, thank you very much guys and i will see you next time when we will start assemble uh, i don't know which one we're going to assemble what we're going to assemble first but uh, obviously i'm going to show you how to work with it i want to work with it because i never had the opportunity to do something like that so guys i will see you next time i hope you enjoyed the video beautiful gorgeous quality of the products and guys, well, just check the website and well, I see you next time.